the silver SLV squeeze is a scam, it's a pump and dump, and air with caution, guys. <laughs> getting a lot of information, emotion, all this kind of stuff coming out with the SLV based on Reddit's Wall Street bets, short squeeze that they're trying to pull on silver. And they're trying to drive up the price of silver. And I just want to make a video to say that this is legitimately a pump and dump scheme. We're having all these other pump and dump schemes under the Wearing the mask of it's trying to take down some hedge funds. This is a legitimate pump and dump scam. I don't think it's the wisest to participate in this, and if you do choose to participate, you better know that you could lose a lot of money by taking part in these pump and dumps. If you don't get out at the, ex at the right time, you could lose a lot. If you're going to buy on the way up, just beware. This isn't some folk hero trying to take down JP Morgan. It's a pump and dump scam. They might claim whatever, but it's a pump and dump. When people are devoted to raising the prices, pumping up the prices, do you think they're not gonna dump it at the top? Do you think they're gonna hold for how long? There's some serious concerns I have with taking part in this, I'm holding off on silver right now. That might not be a popular view, but I'm going to be the one guy that says, hey, I'm holding off. I've got some concerns with keep buying here. It's a speculative metal. It's not money in my mind. It's not like gold. I'm not going to be taking part in the pump and dump scams. I don't want to be burnt. I'm not going to play with fire. I'm already positioned. If there's a pump and dump and everyone wants to go crazy, lose their minds, and start trying to run up the price and everything like that, take part in market manipulation, that's on them, but I'm gonna hold off on the sidelines. I don't want anything to do with that. And I'm gonna be moving to gold. I don't really, if I miss out on getting a couple extra ounces of silver, I just don't, at this point, I just don't care. I'm going to be moving to gold. I'm not going to stress out about this. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to be happy with my silver holdings. I've been stacking for a while. I'm going to keep buying gold because when we have a pump and dump scam, literally it's the one of the most obvious pump and dump schemes in history. Everyone's buying seems to be buying into it. We've got all this information telling people Oh, why you should be taking part in pump and dumps. I try, I'm not going to be that guy saying, hey, we've got a pump and dump scam going on. Buy in, buy in, buy in. I just can't do that. And I feel like I need to make this video because there's so many videos that are so misguided. I just feel like it, I don't want people to be walking off a financial cliff. I want you guys to be ready. I want you guys to be prepared for what's coming. And I want you guys to know that this is nothing but a pump and dump. They're trying to take advantage of you. They're trying to use your money to, to manipulate markets. You're going to be on their side while the price is rising, but when the price is falling afterwards, and the sell-off, sell-off, what else do we choose to pump and dump? They're going from asset to asset to asset to asset, trying to make money. They're not trying to stick it to the man. I don't buy that. When you do run a pump and dump, you're trying to make money, period. I don't buy that it's just a stick it to the man or whatever. I see through that. I see that as their way to try to get others to manipulate markets with... They're manipulating markets with others' money and that's how they do it. They have to sell you a story. But they're just trying to pump and dump. They see it works and they're trying to do it again. They're trying to use your... They're trying to abuse your money to put more cash in their pockets. That's what I see going on. I see a lot of pumpers. And they're sure gonna be dumpers. Are you gonna be one of those people if you're gonna try to play that game? Are you gonna try to time the markets? Are you gonna try to buy all the way up and try to time it perfectly? Or are you just gonna hold off on the sidelines? I'm holding off on the sidelines. I'm just not too worried about, oh, I could have made a little extra. I'm at the point where if I could have, if that's my concern, I don't care. I'm pretty happy that. 
I'm just pretty happy that I got it to begin with, and if I'm just gonna go with the flow. If at a certain point, it's a speculative metal. Silver, I'm not gonna keep dollar cost averaging forever. That's gold. And I still do switch up my budget with gold. Sometimes it's a higher budget, sometimes it's a lower budget, but I'm kind of on the sidelines with silver right now. I thought you guys should know that. I thought it's a, a good thing for everyone to know. I want to be the guy to say, hey, I'm not going to take part in this pump and dump. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to be on the sidelines. I'm not going to act on FOMO. I'm not going to do any of that. There's a lot of misinformation going on right now. There's a lot of... I'm not going to get upset with any of this or anything like that, but I see... Uh, I'm a bit nervous because I see a lot of people being led off of a financial cliff. When the pump and dump happens, you don't want to be buying on the way up, in my personal opinion, that's when you already want your position to be there. And if everyone else wants to go crazy and have their little schemes and plans, let them do their thing. But I don't take part. And yeah, that's my thoughts, that's my opinions, just thought I'd share. Please like, share, subscribe. Stay positive. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.